beautiful people and welcome back to the channel. So I need to update my skincare routine. I updated it about a year ago and it worked great for a while, but now as I'm sure you guys can see or you have seen in previous videos, I am severely breaking out. I have been for the past couple of months, about since December, January is where I really started to notice that my face was breaking out. I've tried everything I can with the skin routine that I use currently, you know, taking certain things out for a couple weeks up to a month to try to see if they were the issue. And so far I can't really find anything. One particular thing that's causing a issue with the certain skincare that I use. Essentially, I just think my skincare routine as it is now has just completely broken down my skin. Um, maybe my skin's a little bit more sensitive than I thought it was. So, I went to Sephora today and got a whole new skincare routine. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily Harless. I am about to be a senior out of college in Indiana called Ball State University. Video making is one of my passions. If you guys could like, comment, or subscribe on one of these videos, that would mean the world to me as it means I'm doing everything correctly and you guys enjoy it watching me. But without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I used before and what I'm gonna use now. So I currently use a pretty rigorous skincare routine. So for morning, I will wake up and I will first use this clean beauty brand. I just use their coconut water to kind of help wet down my face in the morning and then I'll use my little gua sha um, thing to help really mess with my jaw. But that's really the only thing I use this for is to make sure that my skin has a little bit of moisture on it um, before I do that so I'm not just like tugging on dry skin. But that's that. And then after that, I will typically moisturize. I use the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I do actually really like this lotion. So I'm probably just gonna start use, utilizing it more for like my hands, something like that. And then also in the morning, I use the CeraVe Hydrating Sunscreen. It's 30 SPF. I am going to still continue using this specific sunscreen because I was told that it is totally okay for me to use still. So this is a sunscreen that is going to stay in my regimen, but pretty much everything else is getting overhauled or taken out in some way, shape, or form. And then at nighttime, it's very rigorous. Um, so I first use the CeraVe Salicylic Acid Cleanser. Personally, I think this is probably my biggest culprit. I think this is one of my biggest issues. But I also use the Clean and Clear Continuous Control Acne Cleanser. It's their benzoyl peroxide one. This was one that my, specifically my dermatologist told me to use. So I know that it is good. I know that it does things for my skin that need to be done. But I just think with the regimen that they had set up with me with these two was way too much for my skin. So that's what I did today. I went to Sephora and I bought a whole new skincare regimen made up of mostly the Inculus and one slash two extraordinary, pro or extraordinary, one slash two ordinary products. So total price for this whole skincare routine that I'm gonna be showing you minus the sunscreen and the ordinary peel that I already had. This whole new skincare regimen was $48. So less than $50 to take care of my skin. Even still, it would have only been just barely over $50. I think it would have close to 60 with the other two products. So the first thing that was recommended to me that I was actually kind of surprised about with the fact that I was concerned that maybe the salicylic acid cleanser, um, among other things, was helping to break my moisture barrier. Either way, told my dermatologist that he knew, so did the Sephora people. However, they still recommended that I use the Inky List Salicylic Acid Cleanser because with some of the serums and things that I'll be adding into my routine, apparently, it's not gonna be an issue. Now, I could have gotten a toner. I did not grab one this time. If I decide I want it in the future, I will, of course, grab one. I thought I might have grabbed it, but I didn't today. That's for a future, but I did grab the niacinamide serum. So this niacinamide, it does say that I can use it in morning and evening. Just however, with my other serum that I have. And my nighttime serum is beta hydroxy acid. Yeah, it's to reduce blackheads and breakouts, which obviously is something that I need that I have told you guys about. But 
yes so this will be a nighttime you only use it once a day like i said the other one you could use twice a day the other thing that i got that you put on before your moisturizer was i got the caffeine eye cream and the last thing of the daily routine that i got was the ordinaries natural moisturizing factors and hyaluronic acid moisturizer but other than that that is the new kind of routine really the next thing to do is to try it out see how the products feel on my face and then update you guys again in a week so i am actually going to get ready to go take a shower and then i will update you guys on how the routine feels i'll show you guys how i wash my face and things like that I am fresh out of the shower so the next step in the skincare regimen is the beta hydroxy acid for nighttime um, it's like I said supposed to help with breakouts and things you're supposed to apply one to two drops on your face and neck and then follow with preferred serums and moisturizer things so I'm gonna apply this then I'm probably gonna roll it into my skin I have a little jade roller that's like perfect for these little serums and things so probably gonna roll it in with this and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, that's all in now. Your face is a little bit sticky. Um, next is going to be the eye cream before the moisturizer. Okay, that is really it of the new products. I do have a couple active pimples and I didn't buy like a specific like spot treatment. So I am gonna put a couple of the Mighty Patches on those active breakouts. But other than that, that is it for the night routine. Like I said, I'm gonna go to bed tonight. I will show you guys how I do the morning routine when I wake up tomorrow and then update you in a week or two or three, something like that. Whenever I decide to update you guys, on how my skin is doing eight hours later okay it is the morning now and it's time to do the morning skincare routine i've already taken the mighty patches off that's the only thing i've done to my face so far this morning um and they get a lot out of my stuff so that's good but going to throw in a headband and start with the um salicylic acid cleanser Excuse me, next up for morning skincare is gonna be the niacinamide serum. Um, it's kind of the same thing. You do a pea sized amount on your face and your neck. I get to do the caffeine eye cream and then I'll roll my face to rub all the product in. really it when it comes to my skincare those are all my products used in the orders that they would be used i am going to update you guys now in a couple of weeks obviously you guys see my skin this is what it currently looks like hopefully in a couple weeks it's a little bit better but like i said i'm gonna go a couple weeks using this particular routine with the ordinary um peel on sundays and then update you guys how it's going. Okay, so it is about two weeks, just over two weeks later since I started using my new skincare routine and I did want to give you guys an update and kind of my final thoughts because the adjustment period that they suggest is pretty much over now. So as you guys can see, all my skincare is right here. I did just come to my dad's last night, so in a little bit of different water, but my skin looks so much better and as you guys can see, I'm sure you can tell before, like between where it was before versus where it is now. Yes, there are still a couple breakouts that I'm getting over. There's a couple new ones because I did um, go on my period during this video. So I did have to um, deal with some hormones and things with that. But, and even just the adjustment period itself, like you always kind of break out during the adjustment period a little bit because your skin's getting used to these new chemicals. But Overall, I am very, very happy with the Inky Lists products that I'm using and the Ordinary products that I'm using because I just feel like they've really turned my skin around. Yes, it's only been two weeks, so who knows what could happen with them in the future. I'm 
very much anticipating that my skin's going to clear up a lot. I am very excited about it. I am very, very, very satisfied. I believe overall it was like a $40 skincare routine and it's completely changed my skin. It's made me a lot more confident. I haven't been wearing makeup on my face at all. I've just been wearing eyebrows, mascara, maybe eyeliner every once in a while. So it's definitely turned my confidence around. It's made me more confident for sure. It's made me, you know, a lot more comfortable. Um, and overall, I, I feel like it's a very easy skincare routine, an easy starter one if you're trying to get into skincare. But if I had to really rate what I thought of my skincare routine, I would probably rate it like a nine and a half out of ten. The only reason I'm not giving a ten out of ten is because I'm super strict with my ten out of tens. But I, I absolutely love it. I can't. I have no, literally no words for it. But that is really it for this week's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys were looking for new products for yourself, make sure you go ahead and like the video down below. Comment, have you guys been having any skin issues? What are some holy grail products for you? Let's help each other find some skincare products that we think are gonna be beneficial to everyone. And I also do respond to every single comment, so if you leave me something, you get a little response from me. But if you guys liked me and wanna see more from me in the future, make sure you go ahead and subscribe as well down below. But that is it for this week. I will see you guys next week.